Hi there. Today we're going to be taking a look at this set of 1986 Fleer Baseball traded set. This includes the traded players as well as rookies from the 1986 season. But before we get into that, I'd just like to talk about the rookies that came out of 1986. Um, when I was collecting in 1989, by that time, the rookies from this season really were some of the biggest superstars uh, at that time in baseball. You had Jose Canseco, Will Clark, you had Barry Bonds, um, even some lesser stars like Bobby Bonilla, Wally Joyner, uh, Kevin Mitchell, um, and uh, not in this set, but part of this uh, rookie group was uh, Bo Jackson as well, who was just phenomenal and at that time uh, pretty much all of us who were kids at that time collecting baseball cards just thought that there were going to be so many uh, of these players that were going to end up in the Hall of Fame um, and as a result by the time I started collecting in 89 these uh, traded sets were uh, pretty much unobtainable um, unless you had a lot of money. Um, these really were valued very highly for a, a, quite a while. Um, unfortunately, what happened is uh, some players, as inevitably happens, um, as they continue playing, uh, their seasons were, uh, their, their productivity was affected by injury, um, that maybe their production uh, tapered off over time, uh, and then, of course, a number of the players from this rookie class, Jose Canseco and Barry Bonds being a couple of key ones, uh, were um, affected by the steroids, uh, their use of steroids and how that impacted how, um, you know, their, for Jose Canseco, his uh, playing time and ultimately his uh, consideration for the Hall of Fame. And Barry Bonds obviously went on to have a very successful career uh, with the Giants and uh, set the all-time record for home runs but uh, he too is not in the Hall of Fame because of of that uh, mar on his record and it's unsure if he will ever uh, be in the Hall of Fame which is a shame because as a kid watch, watching and following baseball in the late 80s early 90s those guys were just incredible amazing um, so anyways, this, this set was something as a kid I never thought I'd be able to, uh, you know, get my hands on unless I had a small fortune, or at least at that time in my life, what I consider to be a small fortune. Uh, nowadays, they, these can be picked up for in the range of, you know, 20 to $30, depending on where you get them and what condition. So let's go ahead and open up this 1986 traded set and take a look at what it includes. One more in the box, all right. Of course it comes with the 86 FLIR uh, sticker set, which I'm not entirely sure if the adhesive on these would even work at this point in time. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So this uh, 86 FLIR traded set follows the base set I think pretty much uh, exactly as far as the style. You've got the the nice dark blue borders with this uh, highlighted bar down here. This is of course the checklist set. Um, we got the the player name and then on the back the uh, their stats. Uh, traded sets have a U in front of the number, um, but otherwise they're pretty much like the base set, which I think I actually like it when they do that. So. Let's go through, I'll just mention any notable players that jump out to me. I believe Bobby Witt was a rookie that year. Oh, and there's Mitch Williams. He was a very, very wild pitcher. This was also a rookie card. Very, very wild pitcher um, in his day, but also a very successful relief pitcher. I'm not seeing any big names this time. Well, there's Robbie Thompson. I believe he was rookie of the well, National League Rookie of the Year 
in 87, I believe. Um, very successful second baseman for the Giants, although not a not a breakout star, I would say. But definitely part of a, a long long uh, career with the Giants, a successful second baseman. Well, there's Kurt Stillwell. He was a hot rookie for a while. That's a squinty picture. Oh, there's Ruben Sierra, another big star, uh, switch hitting power hitter of, the, of his time. I definitely liked collecting and still do collect his cards. But again, did never made the never accumulated enough to get into the Hall of Fame. Billy Joe Robido. Put that bat right up to the camera. Nice mustache. Phil Necro traded. He was a I think he probably, I'm, I don't know if he made it in the Hall of Fame, but he's definitely a famous, famous pitcher, him and his brother both. And there's Kevin Mitchell, rookie card. Um, he probably wasn't the one of the hottest rookies in 86 with the Mets, but he's, he certainly found um, in 1988, 89, and 90 was very hot for the Giants. He earned the National League MVP, I think it was 89 or 90. So... For a while there, we thought, wow, he was going to be a big deal. I think his uh, behavior kind of uh, scuttled his ultimate, ultimately his career. He'd get traded from team to team eventually. John Crook, he had a successful career. He went to the Phillies. Oh, and there's Wally Joyner. He was a very hot rookie. Uh, replaced Rod Carew as the ace first baseman and, and really took off. Uh, he had an overall had a decent career, but uh, nothing, I think, like how he started out. There's Tommy John, the Tommy John surgery named after him. Pete Inclavigle, he was, he was a really hot rookie, and um uh, played straight he did not play in the the minor leagues he played went straight to the majors i think because he refused to play in the minors and he was a first round draft pick he had a very successful rookie year um although he also set records for strikeouts i think um, at least for the rangers and ultimately his career never really panned out in fact i believe they changed the rules to forbid trading players so he was traded from the expos to the rangers uh right after getting drafted because he refused to go to the minors um they required him to keep him for a year before they trade him well there's andres galarraga the big cat he was another star or semi-star from this year we were collecting hoping maybe he was going to pan out to be a hall of famer Your bag. Is that a rookie card? Yeah, he was a successful pitcher. Rob Deere. And there's, there he is, my favorite player ever, Will Clark. 86 Fleer rookie card. This was a card I don't think I even saw when I was a kid. I never saw an example of this card um, until I was much older. Uh, just a fantastic card. and Unfortunately, he didn't put up enough years of production to make the Hall of Fame. And there he is, Jose Canseco. This was the hot card from this set for many years. And still a coveted card for me. 
I still collect his stuff. And there's Bobby Bonilla with the White Sox. He was traded to the Pirates shortly thereafter. And he teamed up with our next guy who is an, another huge, this is probably the biggest card in this set now, uh, the Barry Bonds rookie card. Uh, 86 Fleer traded. Steve Bedrosian, a very successful player. He was traded that year. Oh, and there's Billy Bean from Moneyball. Not a successful player, but definitely a successful GM. Don Baylor traded. And Mike Eldretti, outfield first base. Well, I think he was a rookie too. But first base claimed by Will Clark, so sorry, bud. <laughs> anyway, that's the 86 Fleer traded set. And uh, like I said, this was a big deal when I was a kid. Uh, it's really great to be able to get it now, even though uh, a lot of these guys didn't pan out to be the uh, long-term Hall of Famers we had hoped they would be, but still great to see these cards, great to be able to pick up this set, and I hope you enjoyed looking through it with me. Thanks for watching.